Today's game is coming to you live from Luniapolis, Craziana. We're at Mucus Asylum Stadium, and the inmates are taking their medication along with their seats, sharpening their knives, and hopefully not listening to the voices in their heads. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Terror Bay Mutineers battle. The Insane Colts. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me! And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. You know what they say, sometimes it goes so fast. And he finds open space, he's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. The 20. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. He caught it! And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone! Except maybe self foul but he seems to have worked through it! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing. Warm threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. And that'll be second down and four. First and ten. Uh oh, and the ball carrier just got skewered. <laughs> and that's the end of his day. And it's first and ten. it for four yards second down and six much like my wedding night there was a big explosion and then everyone left disappointed what do you mean everyone third down and six way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful
And it's first and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. He could probably be a better dancer if he went to dance class, but as you can see, he uh, doesn't have the stomach for it. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. That was bloody and disgusting. Hey, anyone in the mood for steak kebab? Make mine rare. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Crusher right there, folks. Second down and six. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. <laughs> Boring, but the defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Way dirty trick that time. Second down and ten. <laughs> that pass play nets them seven yards. Oh no, I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop him. Yeah. 
It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league we're mad. And this ref is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. They are going for it, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And he's running like a moose right now. And this game is up for grabs. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And that'll bring up second and one. Lohan's nose hits a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down in a very lot. It's a zap attack. It's like when you shuffle your... Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji! The new game from Wilton Crabtree. Goal! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Uh, let's see. About a quarter of the three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. One speed. Indeed. What are you trying to impress your nerd fan base to bring him into the game? And of course, Jenny, they got great disposable income. Yeah, good point. Ghost <laughs> And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He 
he boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. Third down and 10. Monster hit! Well, technically, they're all monster hits, Grim, because, you know, they're all monsters. Point taken. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, tell him me! Nice run! No, I mean... And we're at the two-minute warning. I gotta pee! And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two. Defense was reading him like a book. Like it was written in Braille, Grim. His head. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. <laughs> call a timeout hoping to save some time for their offense second down and more than the QB would like and he was running like he had a load in his pants picks up maybe two uh, we always ran with a load in our pants Grim. and the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense Third down and long. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. up seven second and three that's 
the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum, and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey. Anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Oh, with a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I'm off. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. And he held on to that one for a first down. First down and three. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Third down and the punter is warming up.
sick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. It's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third and four. Much like my wedding night, there was a big explosion and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? And they'll line up for the punt here. That's a decent punt. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. <laughs> well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Second down and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Third down and nine. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And it's first and ten. What is this, Annie's wrestling? And that'll be second down and four. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down and one. For six, touchdown! Touchdown! If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're gonna lose, pal. You kind of deserve it if you're this dead scrim. <laughs> and this is a first and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and 
around forever. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and a lot. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> They want more points, so they're going for two. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. for a first down. If you get one more bullshit pounding, you get one more for free. You'll also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref's dirty trick. <laughs> first down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. If you can't get the sack, that's the next best thing. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And that guy is dead. Good riddance. He killed me in my fantasy game last week. I wanted a murder on myself. <laughs> Third down and never going to happen. Up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. The nastiest dirty trick in the game. Players getting chased with chainsaws. I think of carving. Kind of brings a whole lot of. He's at the 40. They run it on fourth down and pick it up. Ho ho! That's four new downs and some big balls. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Air ball! Hey, did we start letting ghosts into the NFL grin? No, nah, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one.
second down and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and ten. And he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. <laughs> what are you trying to impress your nerd fan base to bring him into the game? Second down in a very lot. for the first down. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged and can electrocute any opposing player he touches. Fumble! You've got to protect the ball better than that. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big ball. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And the two minute warning sounds. There's not much time left at all. First down and five. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Now, this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band. Men without heads, remember? We can dance if we want to. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> He's aged better than Keith Richards. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as you get there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. And the offense goes into their two-minute 
drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stoopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good... The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. And they run it in for two points. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. As long as something gets broke, right? And it's first and ten. First and ten. The Colts walk away victors today. Yeah, except for that one guy down the field with his head knocked off. It was a brutal battle of attrition, but they come away with a three-point win and are celebrating on the field. Yeah, they're giving the ref a few bucks. Didn't hurt the cause either. Well, it hurt my cause. I had a sawbuck on this fucking game. The game's most valuable player is about to speak. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...